Welcome to Darth Hot Gaming. So, yeah, Warhammer. So, yeah, I'm not in the Warhammer space. Uh, I've never played Warhammer. I have um, relatives who do. Um, but yeah, it just comes back to the fact that you don't change the lore. In entertainment, we've seen, it's one of the, the major rules of entertainment, whether it be movies, TV shows, or games. You don't change the lore. Okay, you don't change the lore which brought the customers that give you money in the first place. <clears throat> Warhammer has more, Warhammer 40k specifically, has more lore behind it than Lord of the Rings. When you start making changes to people that are diehard fans that have spent literally thousands of dollars on minifigures and books and collections and you think they're not going to notice, you're messing with people's baby. You got a, a Games Workshop that has a diehard dedicated fan base. Yep. <clears throat> so when you have a fan base that's been built over many years, okay? And that's what brings, for especially for science fiction genres and fantasy genres, that's what brings the fan base. That's what gives them a reason to play and stick around is because of the lore, because of the, the, the rules and the lore that have been laid down. And so when you decide to change it, you disrupt your own industry. And I don't know why these people think that they're immune. I don't know why they think that they're immune to everything that has happened to Disney. Okay, Disney is the poster child of what happens when you go woke. Disney is still around because they had, had been the, the word here, had billions of dollars to lose. Disney has lost billions. Billions. Hundreds of billions of dollars because of the path they decided to take. They, they had successful franchises, which they bought. They could have made lots of money. They could have made trillions. Instead, they decided to lose billions. And all Disney would have to do is just keep making the same stuff that the fans wanted. But instead, they're like, no, we don't want to make stuff that will make money. We want to make stuff for people who don't even pay attention to the franchise. We're going to make stuff for something that's like, what, 5% of the population that doesn't even pay attention to this franchise anyway. And that's how they turned something that could have been a multi-trillion dollar business into losing hundreds of billions of dollars. So <clears throat> people are unsubscribing from Warhammer. Um, so here is on the London Stock Exchange. And this is, you see, even if you look at this, it's not 9,970, okay? Okay, to the pound sterling, why GBX is an abbreviation for the penny sterling, or one one hundredth of a pound, okay? So <clears throat> the London Stock Exchange, this is how it's doing, um, okay? Divide this by 100, okay, and you have almost 100 pounds, okay. And then, here in America, yeah, yeah, it's taking a bit of a dip, hasn't it? Um, yep. <clears throat> Right there. Just yep, let's go take a dip. Uh so yeah, it's it's training differently. Um it's trading differently uh in in uh, London than in America. Uh <clears throat> but yeah, uh Now, the question is, does the Warhammer franchise have billions of dollars to lose? Do they? Well, let's let's look at that. All right, so first, let's get into how expensive it is to play the game. Okay. Um, come to this site. Creative Twilight. Warhammer 40K. And just to, so to summarize it up, 
All right. <clears throat> okay, so the total cost to go from nothing to getting really involved with the game, to buying everything you need, um, they say about $815. Okay, go from, to go from having nothing in uh, 40k to having the required books, dozen point armory, standard size with some hobby supplies, is $815. How many people are going to be wanting to spend that money now? I mean, how many people are going to want to do that? Especially the people that have been invested in this for a long time. How many people want to do that now? Okay, uh, they're seeing their entertainment, their their free time fun thing they like to do ruined. Because the game workshop is bending over to wokeness. Uh, and let's look at this. How much money do they have to lose? $4.10 billion. That's it. So, wow. Okay. <clears throat> so they only have four. They're only worth $4.10 billion. Okay. All right. Gillette said, you know, it was worth it losing, you know, having the company devalued by about $8 billion from doing that, that really stupid uh, woke ad. Bud Light, um, $1.4 billion in sales gone. Starbucks devalued by $11 billion because they lost the occasional customer. Why? Because when you took off customers for, you took off the majority of your customer base for a tiny minority, the the woke, yeah, uh, not going to go well. It's never going to go well. But yeah, so um, <laughs> uh, apparently... You know they <clears throat> they would uh, they they want to do this. They, the Warhammer, the people who manage the Warhammer franchise, want to do it. Um, and the uh, you know BattleTech's trying to do the same thing. Their leaders are going woke. Um, introducing more and more garbage in a BattleTech, and I pretty much just I don't buy any new stuff. I don't buy any new stuff anymore. Don't buy any new stuff. Uh, I just stick with what. I already have, and ignore all the garbage they've added to it. And yeah, I don't buy any new stuff, and I'm a diehard Battletech fan. I'm like, nope, nope, not buying anymore. So, <clears throat> you know that when your company goes woke, you don't collapse overnight, but you do eventually financially collapse. And the reason Disney is still around is because they had hundreds of billions of dollars to lose. War the Warhammer franchise does not. They do not have billions of dollars to lose, okay? And um, <laughs> it's just, yeah, uh, the you know, trading your vast loyal fan base in for a tiny, tiny amount of people that cannot fund your cannot cannot ever hope to fund your franchise. Not a good, not a good business strategy. Getting rid of ninety five percent of your customers, like okay, we only want five percent of you. So, not a good thing, but you know it, and it, it just like I said, it amazes me. It amazes me every time that every company that does this, they think they're going to be the exception for some reason. They think they're going to be the exception. They ignore what happened to Disney. They ignore what happened to Gillette. They know what happened to everybody. Um, they think they're going to be the exception. Starbucks thought the same thing. They're they're. Uh, they lost 11 billion in value. Bud Light lost over a billion. And for some reason, Warhammer, which has the least amount of money to lose, thinks they're going to be just fine when the dust settles. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, remember to play games that respect you as a customer and have fun.